Hello folks and welcome to Army Man Final Front Part 3B. Uh, this is a stealth mission here. Uh, but pretty much uh, stealth at one point gets thrown out the window. But pretty much the idea is you hide in the dark in very, very dark areas here and you wait for the right moment and then you bayonet the guy. Uh, basically, this is like Lancian Air, where if you trigger the guy to where he starts shooting at you, uh, more enemies will spawn, making him his own trigger. Unfortunately, getting these guys to walk is also a triggered step, as in you have to be in a certain area for them to start moving, which becomes an added annoyance. And that uh, looks like somebody ran over some roadkill, as uh, I'm smelling some roadkill along the highway. How fun. But pretty much this is a slow stealth bayonet mission and uh, until the very end and then it becomes a total douche. But I'm going to uh, not be able to air the uh, final part of that because this level gets too long near the end. So you'll see that in part 3B, I mean 3C. Uh, Anyway, the reason I'm bringing up that up now is to get that out of the way, and uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring up uh, that there's been, uh, you might have noticed when I was ranting in Lancian Air about uh, copyright and uh, stuff to that effect, copyright laws and all that jazz. Well, looks like uh, I said that <laughs> And it happened. Uh, oh, and I randomly died. See, that's what I'm talking about, the shadows. But anyway, well, eventually they decided to go ahead and I guess, thanks to Warner Music Group and all them little greedy sods, uh, they decided to make it to where uh, some, obviously, some lobbyists are trying to uh, heavily restrict what can be posted online. Uh, and this unfortunately affects a whole ton of people. Uh, now, I'm not going to say wh what it does or what it does not do because I have not researched the uh, bill yet, so I can't describe the bill yet. But uh, the bill is S978. And I did post links uh, for the Library of Congress on this video at the tail end for those who uh, want to look up what that bill is actually about so they can get a better opinion on it rather than just listening to video blogs and whatnot. Because you should do your own research on stuff like that rather than taking people's uh, ideas into mind. However, generally what the premise is, is what they want to do is they want to limit the content that's what's online, uh, both on the uh, what can be recorded for videos, uh, videos being like movie films and whatnot, which can affect uh, YouTube poops and uh, those sort of things, as uh, well as video game content itself, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, Basically, meaning that it could ban LPs, and basically they have a uh, ten-strike system or whatever, supposedly, that uh, pretty much you could post up to nine videos, and then you ha if you don't remove them, delete them on, on the tenth time, you can get uh, jail time and fines, uh, creating who knows how much of a legal battle here. I mean, think of it like Warner Music Group when you heard all those horror stories of 14-year-olds uh, and 10-year-olds being uh, sued by uh, music, this music lobbying group uh, for millions and millions of dollars, knowing full well that they can't pay that uh, and that they really didn't know any better because you didn't put anything on your CD case about it or whatnot. Uh, but first thing I want to do for talk about here is uh, there's an advocacy group, like I said before, that I've talked about on a previous video called uh, Electronic Software Association, 
otherwise known as the ESA. Uh, for those who've been watching the news lately, uh, especially near the California area, uh, there was a bill that was passed in California that banned the uh, sale of violent video games uh, for those under 18. Uh, and they uh, lobbied to appeal that law. However, I'm kind of concerned about this electronic service, I mean software association, because it could be just another warm music group again. Uh, so I don't know anything about that group myself. Uh, I've looked it up online, and there really isn't that much to go on with it, other than that it's supposedly a uh, developer's advocacy group for video games uh, to try to uh, lobby for them. But beyond that, who knows? And uh, I posted the website for them as well if you want to get in contact with them or uh, want to know more about them. But they're another video game lobby industry and uh, think, think uh, all them other obviously, groups, you know. Uh, but pretty much just check them out and uh, like I said, uh, pretty much I, I apologize for uh, this entire video being ate up with politics, but this is something that kind of came to my attention while I was uploading videos, uh, thanks to a person that I just recently added uh, called Gamer Shell. I mentioned him last video, but I didn't mention his SN, but that's his SN is Gamer Shell. But one of his buddies posted something about that, and he passed along the bulletin. And I'm also passing along the bulletin. Uh, but what I'm going to say is research what the bill uh, first, and then write your congressman you know, or an advocacy group first. Uh, keep it tactful, but always you know question what you see online. Look it up yourself. Uh, which is why I posted links to the Library of Congress of what is actually written on the paper and any edits and whatnot, so you can kind of check what's going on there. Uh, and I don't know anything about the bill myself because I haven't had the chance to research it. I just found out about it. So, uh, like I said, don't take everything for, at face value, actually look it up. And uh, like I said, this affects YouTube community, this affects video game remixers, this affects YouTube poop people, this affects uh, anything and everything uh, as far as First Amendment rights go, as far as this is sounding. And this can definitely hurt the online community uh, and actually, as in general, but it probably uh, affect uh, a lot of the uh, TV shows as well, like uh, E4 uh, and those sort of things, like GameSpot TV and you know all them groups as well. Uh, anyway, what I'm doing is I'm fighting here at five frames per second, and the enemies just keep spawning and spawning and spawning which is uberly annoying and I'm going to be making a safe state uh, and like I said this is where it gets rather slow and bogged down and that's why I'm dedicating this whole entire uh, LP here to that and once I find more information about the bill I will uh, kind of post uh, my understanding and take on it but don't take my word for it either and uh, like I said, that'll probably be a few more videos in the future. That won't be the next video. Uh, but it is something that I just found out about and needed to address. So uh, please, like I said, look it up, research it, put in your comments because this actually does affect you as a person online. And uh, we don't need to have another warm music group incident anymore. It's stupid and uh, ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and run up here, make another safe state, kind of take a breather. And then I'll head back down into it. I don't know what's causing this, because like I said, uh, you won't 
probably be saying this as much, but I'm having like five or six frames per second while they're shooting at me. Uh, not up here, but down there. And since I already can't tap fire, it makes it even worse for me. So I just have to take my time and start taking them out. But anyway, uh, please, like I said, uh, support the community and whatnot. And uh, really just... Um, I I hope that they don't pass something like that. Uh, if it is as bad as they're saying it is, and while I don't condone, uh, you know, uh, people downloading movies or whatnot, uh, I think that parodies shouldn't suffer for it, and I don't think uh, a bridge series, and I don't think uh, custom works or remixes or rehashings or uh, pretty much just mixing it around. I mean, think think about this. Uh, you know those DJs that work like in bars or whatnot when they uh, scuddy, scuddy one of those old record tapes? Isn't that also a form of – that would be possibly considered a form of copyright infringement. Uh, I don't know. Uh, according to this law anyway, the way I'm hearing it. But don't take my word for it. But I mean, even playing a pong online is would be considered bad, Ugh. or posting an MMO or something to that effect. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, not only that, but it actually does detriment to the economy and that sort of thing too. With uh, free advertising, like. Here, this would be uh, for 3DO or whatnot if they were starting to get back up to what they were doing like they used to. This would bring free uh, advertising for them, possibly letting them uh, play the game more or whatnot. And, uh, more people might be interested in buying it if they liked what they saw. But, uh, like I said, please... Uh, research the bill, and here's the stuff about it again. Uh, so this will be Kingy signing out, and like I said, go to the websites, do your own research, and then write. Don't all of a sudden react to it. Research first, then write. And uh, question with boldness. So uh, Kingy signing out, and again, question with boldness, and never accept anything at face value. Uh, signing out. Hello folks, and uh, this is Kiki doing Let's Play Iron Man Final Front Part 3B. Well, sorry for um, blasting away all these guys while I was talking about politics. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and make a corpse count. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> about 13 corpses there. That I was killed while I was uh, talking about politics. <laughs> well, that's a bad sign there. Anyway, we have these flammable things. And uh, we have this flammable thing here. Hmm. Let's shoot it. See what happens. Uh oh. It's coming right for us. Shoot <laughs> duck. Yeah, that was brilliant. Uh oh. <laughs> Almost got ran over. That would have been brilliant. Anyway, uh, let's get you signing out, thanks.